Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, if you win a dollar or two at the casino, you don't have to report that to the IRS on your annual taxes. But if you earn enough money at the casino, you do. While that IRS reporting threshold is $5,000 for poker tournaments, it's a much lower $1,200 for slot machine earnings. Well, if they're both a form of gambling, why the discrepancy? Largely because the slot machine threshold hasn't been changed since June 1977, the same summer that the original Star Wars premiered. <laughs> they adjusted for inflation, that threshold would be about $5,000 today. $5,600 to be exact. So there's a new bill in Congress called the Slot Act, which stands for the Shifting Limits on Thresholds Act. It would raise the slot machine IRS reporting threshold to $5,000, then index it to inflation in perpetuity. In other words, much fewer slot machine winners would have to report to the IRS than currently do today. It was introduced in the House by Nevada Democratic Representative Dina Titus, who represents a district including Las Vegas, although the bill's co-sponsorship is bipartisan. Well, since it's about gambling, probably best if I summarize it to the tune of the classic Kenny Rogers country song, The Gambler. There we go. If one night you feel like gambling, and the slots are calling to you, so you sit down and you bet that you'll win a bunch of stacks. The slot machine is lucky, and you win $1,200, but you probably didn't realize you'd have to pay a tax. You've got to know when to hold them. Everybody know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. That tax threshold's been steady since 1977. If this bill gets enacted, you can keep more of what you want. All right, I'm off to the slots. <laughs>